Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to update a few thrift finds. Follow along. Okay, I got this the other day at um, the stuff store in Barrie when I was up there. And I just taped it all off, the lights and the side and everything. I was going to take it apart, but there's a bolt that I don't have a tool for. So I'm going to just do it like this. So I just have some black spray paint. I'm going to do it really light. And then I'll just let that coat dry and then I'll do another coat. Corn, I don't know if you can see it from there, but leaving him natural because he's chippy and I like it. This one's gonna need a clear coat because he's made out of uh, cement and he's gonna take a little bit of paint. He's gonna eat it up. But I'll just put some light coats on him at first. On the other side. I'm always upcycling everything because this elevates my garden, this kind of stuff, right? And I got it for, for free from my cousin. And she knew I was looking for one. So I'm just gonna let that dry. It's not gonna take long. And I'll do the other side. Looks cute already. I'm doing it flat black, because I like flat black. Oh, he needs a little bit in there. This is gonna eat some paint, this one. But definitely put a good clear coat on top of them after. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a second spray here, just lightly. Now you know why I have to get a manicure all the time. Ha ha. Okay, I'm gonna do this end. And I'll give it one quick spray when this is all dry and this should be done. And I'll show you after I hang it up. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna hold it and let it dry. Okay, I'm just doing the last little touch-ups on this one. And I found a hook I can hang it on to let it dry so I don't have to hold it. And then tomorrow I'll flip the bunny over and do his bottom part with some clear coat. And, I, and I'm done. I'll have... I'm going to hold it up and let it dry fast. And when I get it up on the wall, I'll take a picture of it for you. So I have the light hanging on a hook drying. And I'm going to let this guy stay out here overnight. I don't think it's going to rain or anything. But I'm going to give him a quick coat of clear. Just because I don't want him to deteriorate. Because he will. Because he's made out of cement. There. That should do it. And I'm just going to let him dry. And there it's dry. Say good morning. Okay. It's going in. Gonna straighten it out. And a little couple more turns and I think I'm good. I did stick a plug in. I didn't have, it was really hard for me to find one that I, um, there we go. I have this still, I have a piece of tape on this. I'm gonna plug that in. Stick that there and hang the picture. Okay. So I did it. It's gonna look nice at night. And I really like it. Uh, the black. Now I the first one that I found was really ornate, and I wish I had a bought it, but I didn't. So I just upcycled this one into black. I would have left the other one, the, the brass, because it was real brass. And I'm still kicking myself for not buying it. But this was cheap. It was five bucks. But I think at night it's going to look really nice. There you go. So there's my new art, all from the Value Village for $25, uh, plus a little bit of spray paint. That includes the art, then the light. Looking good. So... 
Just goes to show you what you can do on a dime, right? And I like that vintage look anyways. So nighttime's gonna show really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go do another project. I found this little dresser on Facebook Marketplace and the lady said, sorry, it was pending. She just texted me back and said, it's not. And I said, oh, okay, I'll think about it. She goes, I'll give it to you for 30. I said, okay, I'm on my way. So I'm gonna jump on the highway now and go pick it up. Um, she's in the east end, I'm in the west end, so it's about 25 minutes away. I got it, and what a struggle getting that in the car. I'm gonna take Rose Lawn back up over to my house and cut through. This is kind of a back road, which goes from east to west. Um, actually, if you, when you get to the top, it's um, downtown Toronto. And I'm on the west side, and I was just picking up on the east side. So let's see what I do with this little dresser. I might keep it. I'm going to fix up my foyer a little bit. And I'm doing a project in my bedroom right now. I'm trying to do that on a dime too. Um, I'm going to post a video about that real soon. I have a chandelier. There, it's in my car there. Yeah. Now how to go. I'm going to get it out. Just going to show you the picture here at night. Yeah. I'm happy with it. So I have this little chandelier that I thrifted uh, a couple weeks back. And some people think it's gaudy, but I like it. I'm gonna do my rooms, I think. Put it in my room, I think. That's Hanta, my favorite little thing I ever had. <laughs> Anyways, so this is it. I'm gonna scrub it up. I just found a bag of crystals that I had. So I'm gonna see what it looks like all fixed up. I might use it. Okay, I brought this outside because I'm going to use water and orange cleaner to clean it all really good. Now, I buy this orange cleaner, I think it's Zep, um, in the big gallon jug. And I just dilute it into a spray bottle. I use it, like, in my kitchen. I use it to... It's a great degreaser, and it smells great. Well, the bees are telling me it smells great because all of a sudden I got four or five bees around me. But they found the flowers, so they're going into that. Bees don't bother me. I don't really like wasp, and I can't stand flies i just think they're so dirty um i had a huge horse fly in my house last night i must have chased it around for 10 minutes i got it though isn't that terrible of me i'm proud of it um i tried to shoot it outside and it wouldn't go so i just hit it with a towel and, a, and it knocked it down so and it was one of those big daddios that bite you you know what i mean the big horsey flies don't like those ones at all. So this is coming up really nice. So this is porcelain um, on the outside of this. Now there's these little clips. See where the lights are? There's little clips in there. And that's for little globes. But I'm not going to take it off yet because I'm not sure I might find four little globes down in this antique store that I like. If I could find some little green or pink ones, I would buy them. We'll see. I can always pop them out later. All they are is you push them together and the globe goes over top of it. So um, I went through my crystal bag because I don't like plastic crystals. I like real ones. And I save all the ones off old lamps and stuff like that or I find them. Or Actually, when I bought my chandelier for my living room, I got it at the ReStore and all the crystals were in a bag tied to it and there was extra ones in there too now i was thinking of putting in a bigger one and a smaller one but i only have three small ones so i'm gonna hunt for one more small one i don't have it i dumped this bag out i don't have it but i can look around now i did take the part off of the old chandelier and the brass rings that go across and the mechanisms and that to go to the ceiling i guess i don't know what you call that the plate for the ceiling um, and I'm going to, might, I might just use this one. Either way, I need it anyways, because the one I have in the bedroom has a faux one on it, and I want it off it. I've hated it ever since I hung it up, so. Um, and if I'm taking it down, that's the perfect time to switch it out, right? The one in the bedroom is really heavy. I paid $75 for that one. And the reason I'm on the fence with it, I want my bedroom to be a little shabby, like, 
plantation, tropical sort of thing. And there's a palm tree. I never noticed it until the other night. There's a palm tree in the middle of it. So it's kind of like got me like, ah, do I want it or not? I have this beautiful palm tree um, lamp that I asked my girlfriend Didi to keep care of for me in the Caribbean. And if I get down there ever again, I'll bring it back. Um, I bought it in Canada and took it down there in my suitcase and then bought, ordered a shade online. I won't bring the shade back probably because that takes up too much room, but the lamp itself, I can take it apart and put it in my suitcase. So, so I'm going to hang these crystals on. I cleaned them all really good and they're real crystals. Um, so like I said, I only found three little ones. Well, I actually found four, but it one had a chip and I'm not putting a chip one up. So I'm just rinsing them off again with the, the decrutter, uh, from, the orange cleaner, I should say. It is a grease de greaser, degreaser. I boiled them because around the rings they had some, um, um, what do you call it, rusting going on. But they came up really nice. They came up brand new. So, Well, because it's glass, it's going to, right? Anyways, I'm going to go see if I like this all. Um, hang out with the birds and the bees for a minute. Uh there's a bee right beside me right now, and he's just digging for gold. And I'm going to have to pluck a few of my little cherry tomatoes today, I noticed, that I got about six or seven that need to be eaten, so I might just make them and something for dinner tonight. I made some more of my avocado bread, so I might have a wrap with cucumbers and sprouts and stuff. Look at my little tomatoes growing there everywhere. I had a lot on this plant, and I even have a pepper, couple peppers coming up already. Yeah, so it's looking good. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I also do some cooking shows, my waist lo weight loss journey every Sunday between 8 and 9 I post that. Thanks again. Bye.